Hello again YouTube and I'm back with a just a minor update to my uh, solar backup system and uh, you know for you folks that have follow, followed me uh, on my videos you saw my steady progression um, and now I think I'm pretty much done with my backup system the the intent behind my solar backup system is just strictly for backups that's it um, and you know, and the idea was to put it in place and, you know, set and forget. So as an update, I've recently included a sub panel to uh, feed 240 volts to my inverter so that the charging circuit in my inverter will charge my batteries at, uh, you know, a higher amperage rate than, you know, regular 110. So essentially I included this sub panel and this sub panel is being fed from the main panel, from a 50 amp breaker in the main panel. This is a 100 amp service sub panel, but you know, obviously I'm not gonna be pulling 100 amps. Uh, but anyway, this is a 30 amp breaker that's gonna be feeding uh, 30 amps at 240 volts back to my uh, inverter so that, you know, my, again, my batteries will charge faster. Um, you know, putting this in place, you know, wasn't that hard, wasn't that hard. Um, also, I've included this particular safety uh, shutoff switch. So this is uh, essentially a switch to shut off the power coming from the inverter to feed this transfer switch, we, you know, the critical circuits on this transfer switch. And the reason being is I re recently purchased a 7,000 watt uh, gasoline and propane generator. It's going to be run off propane. Um, for the 240 volt capability that it gives me to plug into the uh, transfer switch here to uh, power up the water heater, um, there was only one flaw, uh, you know, or you know, uh, in my backup scenario, and that is dealing with the water heater. Because the water heater takes, you know, 240 volts and basically it's around 3,000 to 3,500 watts. Um, I could never power that thing up obviously with 110 circuits and you know in a small inverter it just takes too much power so in the event of a power outage I needed something to you know to take care of that not necessarily to run the rest of the house but just that one thing I mean the last time I had to you know heat up barbecue grills and uh, and you know to get some water to take baths and uh, you know that that could be a hassle and I did not want the I didn't want a tankless water heater system, you know, with that's powered up, you know, with propane. Uh, the only problem with that is, you know, it was a, it was a little more money than I wanted to to pay for it. You had the big pro propane tank. There was the installation and the equipment itself. So what I did was I bought just went online and bought a propane generator that will give me 240 volts. So in order for me to to power to plug it into the house safely, so. Uh, through this particular uh, 240 volt outlet, I installed this, a, just a disconnect. So this will turn on power coming from the inverter. And this will allow me to essentially provide power to the critical circuits. And not only that, but obviously, you know, I still have my interlock kit here. And so this will actually provide, give me the ability through this back feed breaker to energize all of the circuits here. Now, this particular circuit is providing power to the sub-panel um, and right here through this particular uh, breaker here. This is a 50 amp um, circuit breaker and is feeding power here. This is a 100 amp breaker, but you know, again, if it gets to 50 amps, guess what? This will trip, so that's, that's all I need. Um, again, it's feeding power through this particular breaker and here is this will uh, provide power going to the inverters, the, you know, the, the charging circuit so that it will charge my batteries a lot faster uh, coming from the utility or from the generator. So I had to install this. Um, I thought about, you know, calling an electrician and so forth, but, um, you know, they can get kind of, <laughs> kind of expensive. So I decided to, you know, try it myself, you know. So I went up in the, the attic, I ran the wires, I got the box, I did all the research, you know, I terminated everything appropriately to code and, and you know, everything. So it, it's fine, you know, and I, I saved myself, you know, a little bit of money. But, you know, the thing is, if you are not confident or, you know, about playing in here, okay, 
I'm talking it can get kind of scary okay playing in this box I'm talking taking the panel off and looking at all this the circuits in the back with the breakers it can get kind of scary if you are not confident about playing here do not do so okay it will kill you if you you know if you if you're careless or it can kill you if, it, if you're careless or you know um, just not paying attention to what you're doing electricians are electricians for a reason so but anyway you know I took care of everything it's I plugged it in and you know I mean I installed it and it, it works fine it works as, it, as you know like it like it's supposed to so essentially you know I plug in the generator and you know and away we go so that's just a little update on my solar backup system then let's just take a look in here there's a few changes not not a whole bunch of changes you know just a little bit um, as you can see the system is still in place I have uh, 12 batteries they've been in service for three years they're 55 amp hours um, so you know 55 times 12 and it'll you know kind of give you what wattage I, I have um, so they are AGM batteries and they you know they they've served well um, again they're different but guess what after three years they're just fine um, the Magnuson inter, uh, inter, energy uh, inverter charger works great right beside it I've included a, a battery lifesaver it's a self-contained unit um, it's 24 volts and what it does is it's sen it sen essentially sends pulses to my battery bank and keeps them desulfated essentially this is a battery desulfator so it extends the life of the batteries especially since I don't really deep cycle them um, that often you know really it's again just for a backup system they come in service when the power goes out and so after three years I mean they're still holding you know they're holding steady and since these are AGM batteries I expect to get four to you know seven years out of them um, at least you know three three more years to go on this on this bank because again I don't really cycle them uh, I don't uh, you know I don't really um, unless there's a power outage I just sit here and just go stay in float mode um, with my uh, solar system here this is you know an enclosure that I bought from Home Depot and I just put my uh, solar my backup system in here as far as these are the, the critical components two charge controllers for two arrays two disconnects so that I can shout the power and this is these are two new additions here these are automatic circuit breakers and what happens is with these in the event of a power uh, in an uh, overcurrent situation these things will trip and after a certain amount of time they will simply reset again this is as opposed to putting in a fuse um, or something like that I just decided to go with a 150 amp uh, circuit breaker DC circuit breaker so when it trips you know just hey I can tell somebody to come out just flip the switch and you're good to go um, again the idea behind this was to keep this as as you know uh, maintenance free automated, automatic as possible so that you know somebody doesn't have to come out here and worry about putting in a fuse and the idea you know when you put something like this well my little scenario my philosophy is you set it and you, you put it in place and you forget about it it should be maintenance free um, you know it should be reliable enough to just simply run itself you know you don't have to come out and check anything unless there was something you know major league that, that happened um, also I've updated my drawing uh, to reflect you know the changes here's the little sub panel um, the little uh, disconnect switch here and also I've included this right here I, I put in this 240 volts AC circuit here that feed that receives power from the sub panel here over here is the sub panel and essentially feeds power to this particular out, uh, outlet this 240 volt album um, see here I had to do some you know going into the wall I haven't <laughs> I gotta fix the plaster but oh well or, or the drywall but I'll get to it at some point but anyway this is the 240 uh, volts circuit here and basically it's just a max of 25 25 amps that are that's going to be coming to the Magnuson here so uh, with this system right here there's a lot of safety involved as you saw right here there's disconnects and there's circuit breakers uh, within the, the the panel here this right here is a 30 amp circuit breaker that's you know this is power come this is a circuit breaker for power coming from the inverter so the power comes from the inverter 
um, and it goes to this circuit. This is the actual circuit that feeds the transfer switch. It feeds power to the transfer switch. This is power coming from the utility that goes into the, inner, the inverter that will actually help charge the batteries really quick. I mean, really quick. So in the event of a major league power outage, I can plug up my 240 volt generator, uh, propane generator, let's say I had some cloudy days or whatever, and I, I wanted to you know, charge the batteries up really quick. So as opposed to running my propane generator for you know, eight hours, I can run it for a couple of hours, charge the batteries up, and I'm good to go and then use the batteries and then you know and use the propane generator as needed to you know power up this beast you know the water heater wah but anyway this is pretty much it this is my little system and as far as I'm concerned I'm pretty much done with it um, I stay true to the spirit of what I tried to do which was basically have a backup system it's it's pretty much automated it runs itself um, and in the event of a power outage, hey, I'm good to go. We've had a few power outage outages and, you know, with this system in place, we really don't notice, um, you know, you go to bed and it's like, oh yeah, you know, you look at the stove and the, and the lights blinking and it's like, oh yeah, so I guess we had a power outage. Huh, huh, go figure. So, you know, we, again, we really don't notice. So if you don't have a backup system in place, you know, I really, really encourage you to take a look at at least maybe some, you know, battery backup, even even a generator or something. It, something is better than nothing. But, you know, when you do put a generator in place or one of these solar, um, you know, packages, like, you know, this DIY solar thing, um, you know, I would just encourage you to put it in place, put something in place to where, let's say if you weren't around, it would just simply run. And, you know, somebody, you know, you don't have to come out here and, you know, go to college in order to <laughs> figure out how to run the thing. Just put it in place and call it good. So, anyway, thanks again, YouTube. Take care.